What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. If you are not new here, I thank you again for coming back. Today, we are making stacked sweatpants. These have been trending all over Twitter, all over Instagram, and I want to try for myself. They look pretty easy. So follow along with me guys as I make these pants. First, I'm gonna take my favorite sweatpants that I have. I love the way they fit. These sweatpants were regular fit that I bought, but I wanted them to be skinny. So I had to first go in and make them skinny. I simply trace my old pants over the new ones and cut it out. Once your sweatpants are cut to your desired fitting, this is what it should look like. I'll now go in and pin it all around. Now you want to just sew with a zigzag stitch all around where you pinned your pants. You want to sew with a zigzag stitch so that you could keep the stretch of your sweatpants. If you sew with a straight stitch, you'll lose that stretch in your sweatpants. So once you try to put your leg in, it'll be hard to get your leg through that skinny part of the pants. Once I have finished sewing these together, this is what it looks like. It fits much better than it was before. Not baggy at all. The next step is to cut your sleeves off and also remove your cuffs. My camera was not recording on this part, so I'm just showing you guys how I remove the sleeves from the sweater. You then want to place your pant leg inside the bottom inside the top of your sleeve if that makes sense if not i'm showing it right here so just follow along after you place your pant leg inside your sleeve you want to pin around that circle area
Once your sleeves are pinned onto the bottom of your pants, this is what it should look like. And we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew around that circle area with a zigzag stitch. Okay, this is the finished look of the Stack sweatpants. I really love these sweatpants. I'm pretty sure they are now my favorites. They are so comfortable and it's just real stylish. I really like the bottom, it's really unique. Now, I didn't want to just waste this sweatshirt, so I came up with a halter top idea. So this is just me making that halter top. I'm gonna cut the bottom off of it because I really want it to be cropped. I'm also going to remove the sleeve area I'm then going to remove the back section of this halter top. I'm using that bottom piece we cut off before to make the straps for the top. I removed a little more of the back material just so the top could be fitting and I pinned that area down. I also pinned the straps down on the outside. Now I didn't end up turning the straps inside out only because I didn't have the tool to do so. I tried to make a tool to do so, but it didn't work out. So I just left the straps inside out, well outside in. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs>
I then took those straps to the sewing machine and sewed them down with a straight stitch. It didn't really matter if I did a zigzag or a straight stitch because it wasn't important for it to stretch. I also sewed the back of the halter top down with a zigzag stitch. I then attached one strap to each side of the collar on the sweater. I did this also with a zigzag stitch. And this is the final look, Fiber Squad. I really love this little chill, relaxed outfit that I made. It was really inexpensive. The top was $5 and the bottoms, the bottoms were $5. So $10 in all, and I got this really unique, stylish outfit just to chill in. I really loved it. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video and turn on your notification bell right now. Don't forget, turn your notification bell on, guys. And may your curls pop and your grind never stop. I'm out of here, Flavor Squad.